Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Peanut coming back to you. I know I ain't been here in a minute. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know y'all missed me. Did you miss me? You missed me? Ah, right, yeah, but look, it don't matter. I'm here. I'm back. Coming to bring y'all some fire, all right? You know, I done been in hibernation. I've been working on my skills, perfecting my craft. You know, I just dropped my album, Vultures. Go ahead and get that all platforms. You did. Just type up Peanut Vultures. Yeah, yeah. Had to plug real quick. But, uh, yeah, coming back to y'all, you know, I done sharpened my skills a little bit. Can't just make a little something today, just a regular little cook up, and I ain't got no plan for it. I'm just going to make whatever I feel. You did. So that's enough being said. We can go ahead and get straight into it. Yes, sir. All right. So first things first. Um, I just grabbed a little sound out of Absent Five. Um, it got a little ambient feel to it. Yeah, you know. All right. I'm just I'm just play around with something on the keyboard. We're gonna see what we gonna do. Alright, so I done fixed up the keys. Now, um, I kind of, I mean, I, I kind of like the sound. So we might keep it in the back pocket. What I like to do is, I like to layer stuff. So what I'm going to do is, oh, that's Purity. My bad. I'm going to open up Expand. I'm going to try to get like a little piano out of here. And then maybe after this, we can see how it sounds layered together. If I don't like the other sound, then I might change it to like a guitar or something. Oh, no, actually, matter of fact, let's use a guitar. I like that. All we're gonna do is just connect these at the bottom. Just so that way it give it a better feel. Yeah. But um, I kinda like that. Let's turn it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this uh guitar into the effect rack or the mixer channel. And what I like to do, I like to add certain effects. I'm gonna use guitar rig five. That's like one of my favorite plugins right now. That's the main reason why I'm using the guitar. But um I like the effects that they have in here. Because it really does change up like the whole feel of a, any type of VST that you use. But we're just gonna see, we're gonna play around some presets and see how they sound. We're gonna bring up another instance of Expand 2. Uh, let me see. I'm feeling more like a, like a Rhodes piano kind of. So we got our um, we got our bass melodies right now. We got the piano, we got the guitar. Right now we're gonna go ahead and move on to drums. And what I usually do is I do drums, then I come back to a counter melody just to see how it fits in. Cause you know, sometimes you can make counter melodies and then you can add your drums and the counter melody might not fit into the pockets as well. So we gonna see how it sounds. And it might not even need a counter melody to be honest. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go to simple two step for the i-hats. Let's bring in something nice for the clap. Put the 808 in now. I said we're going to turn up the tempo just a little bit. Right now, it's at 140, but we're going to turn up to like 147. Alright, so let's see how our 808 pattern sounds now. Shout out my boy Go To Angel, one of the best producers in the game. You did. Shout out to him for the 808. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where we're gonna go from here. I think we should add some percussion. I don't think I don't think we need a counter melody just yet. 
Uh, let's add like a snare. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Find all three. Let's go. Sometimes what I like to do when I put in percussion is I mute all like the VSTs that I got going, like all the sounds, guitars, and pianos. I mute all that, and I just go in straight in with just the beat. I'm about to give y'all a huge tip. All producers, please, please listen to me when I say this. Pan your percussion, please, please, man. Look, think about it. If you're going into war, you gonna send all your troops straight down the middle or you gonna have them attack from different sides? Thank you, my point exactly. So look, man, look, pan the first snare to the left, pan the second snare to the right, so it's like a, a call and response. So when it comes from this side, it goes to that side after that. And then we're going to take that last snare and we're going to pan it just a little bit to the left because it comes in every now and then. So listen to it. Uh. You hear it? Man, come on, man. That's all you got to do. Yo. back in. You can change this preset too. Add a little reverb to it. That's what it needs. Oh, let me EQ this too. playing with melodies and stuff but I'm realizing like it really don't need that it just really need to leave space for the artist I'm gonna let the artist be the next instrument so what we're gonna do is delete that and to be honest it really don't need much other than that except for one other thing you just need a little crash just to emphasize in the first hit all right so I changed my mind I threw a little gross beat on the um on the first guitar that comes in you know like oh, the fuck I need to reach the part home all right, so I low-key changed my mind. I'm gonna add one more little counter melody just for the intro when it comes on. So it's kind of like a little interlude. I threw a gross beat on the guitar. This is what it sound like. So I feel like it just need a little guitar to go with it. That's all. That's all. All
Um, I really don't need much other than that. I want to thank y'all for rocking with me. Go ahead and follow me on the ground at Pride by Peanut. You dig? But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this beat play in the outro. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Stay tuned for the next one. I promise you, I'm going to be way more consistent with this. So, you know, stay tuned. And with that being said, it's your boy Two Blunt Nut. I'm out. Hey, Peanut, talk this beat up right, 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 right.